morning, guys. Good how are little you? dog on us as well. Doing? No, don't say how I'm you sorry. doing. Why? I was just I was literally the beginning of yesterday's vlog. I've said, guys, I've started saying how you doing. I don't want that to be my thing. And then <laughs> now you say how you doing. That's because you say that. Why are you standing up? <laughs> She's looking at something Oi. outside. Look at my camera, not outside. Lay down, Missy. So, what's that noise? Hello. Oh, just the oven. Just me cooking my lunch, you know. Like proper cooking some salmon, not just a sandwich. Let's have a look. Let's see what's going on. Oh, damn. That looks delicious. As you know, when we stayed in Cornwall, my sister made this salmon dish and it was absolutely lovely. And I was like, Poppy, how do you just know how to cook stuff like this? How do you do it? Turns out it's really easy. So I just, I just FaceTimed her now and she taught me how to cook it whilst I was on Facebook. I realised I haven't got anything to go with it. I've literally got two bits of salmon and that's it for my lunch. Um, probably, probably should have made some rice or something to go, to go alongside. Quinoa, in, go. It's time to open the package. I've kind of already opened it a little bit, so it's not opening it on camera, because this morning I didn't know whether it was for me or whether it was for Zoe, but yo, it is so exciting. Okay, I'm not gonna be any good at doing this for a while. It's something we can practice together. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I bought this. Why have I done this? I just, I saw them online, they weren't expensive at all, and I saw them online and I was like, these look awesome, I have to get them. So basically, two of these, you stand on them, who's that messaging me? Louis Cole. Um, you stand on them, and people just do like the craziest tricks. Let me show you like a little snippet of what some people can actually do on these, I'll intro it here. I know I'm never going to be that good. Of course I'm never going to be that good. But I just thought, this looks like my kind of thing. This looks like something that I want to try. So, I bought two of them. Well, obviously I bought two, you can't just do it on one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. They're so much harder than what it looks. Let me put you guys down somewhere. And oh, my quinoa is ready. Let's try it out. Oh! Okay, it's definitely much harder than what it looks. Oh! Yeah, I, I, oh! oh my gosh, imagine if my legs go either side. I think that's, they're gonna have to be something that I take to my office and I learn to do because that's blooming impossible and I'm gonna split my balls. My legs are gonna go either side. All right, time for a little coffee before I go. And let's turn it on. And just as I'm making the coffee, my driving instructor rings on the doorbell and says, I'm ready when you are. <coughs> right, I need to whack on my shoes, put on a jumper, grab my stuff, and I haven't had time to edit the daily vlog yet. Another vlog that is going to be late tonight. I'm so sorry. I know I keep on. I know I keep on saying it, but I promise you, it won't be happening for long. As soon as my driving lessons all out the way. Ooh, yeah. What's mummy got? Huh? Sit. Watch what she does though. <laughs> She's eating banana. Have you swallowed it? Oh, that was quick. Ooh, greedy girl. Is that yummy? <laughs> <laughs> it's like she can't control her face for like 10 seconds. Go on then. There's <laughs> a little bit. That's enough. Like on the Sims where you're like, where you've made your family and they wave at you like. Real life Sims. <laughs> Come on then. Hi there. How you doing? 
Should we get a call back? Pardon? One of my favorite things to do is to just speak to people that I don't know, that have nothing in common with me, live a completely different life, living a different, doing a different job, having no mutual friends and just chatting with them. Sounds really, really weird, I know, but when I get in things like taxis or waiting for my food in restaurants, ordering food in places like Pret where I just got this coffee, I love just chatting to somebody, seeing how much I can get to know about them, seeing just how they're doing, what they're up to, within the couple of minutes that I have with them. Some people really love this, and some people love to chat back, and hopefully it makes their day a little bit, and it makes mine for sure. Some people are the opposite, and, <laughs> and hate me speaking to them, because they just don't like speaking to people that they don't know, and that is completely fine. For example, I just got in a taxi now um, to come here, and the taxi driver I got in, I was like, hey, how you doing? Ignored me. That's fine. I mean, it's a little bit rude. You can just say hi back, but that's fine if you don't want to speak back. He then says, did you not get the calls? Oh, okay. I literally just asked you how you're doing. You didn't even say hi. So when I order a taxi, it, it calls me to say that my taxi's outside. He called me within three minutes of calling. I was out and inside the taxi, but that wasn't good enough for him. That wasn't good enough. I'm not, I'm not allowed time to put my shoes on, am I? Jeez. So he was grumpy and didn't want to speak the whole journey. I then went straight to Pret to go and get myself a coffee, although I did get decaf because I've already had a coffee today, if you've seen. And the woman in there loved chatting too. So I was chatting to her about the most random of things, talking about the different drinks because they don't stock the berry ones of these anymore and this is a ginger and apple and I said, oh, I might grab one of these even though I might not like it. And she was like, it's very gingery and we were chatting about the drinks and the different stuff that's in them. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna get a carrot cake but I'm also gonna get this because they kind of balance each other out. And she was like, don't be silly. This is one of your five a day. It's got carrot in it. That's good for you. And we were joking about that and stuff. And then because we were chatting, I'm guessing this is because we were chatting and she enjoyed the little chat that we had she said, you know what, when I was paying, like putting my, I don't know why that's paying, it's not blooming typing on a keyboard. When I was putting my pin in my machine, she was like, oh, by the way, I haven't charged you for the coffee. I was like, oh, okay. Thinking maybe it was a mistake and she'll do it again. In case you didn't like this, I didn't want to charge you for your coffee. So you can have your coffee on the house. What a blooming lovely lady. It is crazy how I can go from a taxi journey with a man who doesn't even want to say hello to me, doesn't even want to like ask, anything or know anything about me except from why I took more than two minutes to get in his taxi and that wasn't quick enough for him. To somebody that's willing to give me a free drink because we had a chat about this drink here. It's mad. And then I met one of you guys outside who was so lovely and just chatting about how she had been to the orthodontist and I was like, oh, I've got the dentist on Thursday too. And she was like, oh, it's so annoying. And I was like, don't worry, it's just one of those things in life you just have to do and you have to get out the way, but it's good because it means you have good teeth. It's mad. I like being somebody who, oh, my CCTV has just gone off in the kitchen. I'm gonna get on with editing the daily vlog because it's already 20 minutes late and I haven't even began the editing. So, if you see me, come and chat to me. Seven minutes until the new vlog goes live. I've just had somebody over, like a builder, carpenter kind of person to come over and sort out all of the walls and sets and everything. So I think in the next like week or two, He's going to come and start building it all here for me, which is going to be awesome. Now, the little thing that I bought earlier, the exciting package that arrived, I don't know where it's gone. Oh, there they are. He tried them out. We were like messing about on like the little bike and things as well. I didn't film anything with him. And these little things, it's time to try them out, okay? They are so hard, let me just warn you, because they, like this bit, let me show you doesn't turn. So if you want to turn, you have to like, I don't really know how you do it. Like, I have no idea. I can't, I can't even stand on them. I, I feel like, why am I doing this and filming it at the same time? What I should do is I should put it on my, my little stick thing. I should put you guys on here. Are you ready? I don't think I am. Oh. Oh, there we go, that's about <laughs> Oh my gosh, how do I move? Oh, like I don't know how to, 
I can't even reach you. This is crazy. I feel like it might almost be easier to do it on my hands. But then like now I'm on, look. Now I'm on it, kind of. How do I move? Like how do I move without doing the splits? You guys are staying here. You're not even coming home with me. I'm fed up. Don't know how to use you. You're too complicated, and I'm gonna break my spine if I try and carry on. So I'm heading, oh, should I take my jumper? Probably should, it's freezing. I'm heading home. Also, I had somebody come over, a friend of mine, who's a plumber, come and look at how to try and fix my sink, because my sink in here has been blocked ever since I got this place. It came with a blocked sink. And I was so annoyed, because I didn't know how to fix it, and I was like, you can't just sell me, like, when I rent this place, you can't give it to me with a blocked sink. So I got my friend to come over, he's a plumber. He literally brought over like acid stuff and everything to like get it fixed. This is all it took. Turning on that switch. He was like, Alfie, you haven't even turned it on. I was like, what do you mean turn it on? It's a sink. I was like, why would you turn on a sink? He was like, because you've got this special water system that has like a on and off button. And I'm like, well, I didn't, never knew that. So, turns out this whole time I've had no sink. I have had a working sink. I just haven't turned it on. Well, I'm locked in my own office. Right, let's head home. Just in case you were wondering, I'm about a 9.6 out of 10 about to wet myself. I cannot remember the last time I needed the toilet as bad as I do right now. And I could have gone in my office but I thought I should get home because I'm running late. Hi there. Hi there. How you doing? Hi. Yeah, good, yeah? Yeah, good morning. Yeah, how's your day going? Yeah, I just started, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's busy for you. Yeah, but I don't think so. Weekend, you know, weekdays, you know? Yeah. Why? This looks so good. Doesn't it? Come on, I get. Let's go to bed. Come on. Do you like my cake? Yeah. Guys, you should see Zoe's cake. Me and Mummy. Look at this. They're having a Mummy today. Don't pull that off. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me do that. It's I'm so, so big that I'm not allowed to pull this off in case Only I touch the edges. If he moves it to the sides, it'll Look at it. What's inside it? There's carrot, orange. It's a carrot cake, basically. So there's. Water, All right, are you drinking enough down there? Pumpkin. Can you hear her? Uh, raisins, carrot. Orange, cinnamon. It's basically a really fancy nutmeg. carrot cake. It's a carrot cake with like everything delicious in it. But I'm not allowed to eat it today. It's we have to wait tomorrow. till tomorrow because Joseph Suggery is coming over. Do you know Joseph Suggery? It's not Joe Suggery, it's a different person. Um, he's coming over tomorrow at some point. Zoe and Joe have got a meeting here tomorrow. And then, um, and then we're allowed it. We're allowed it after the meeting or during the meeting, which I'm not actually going to be here. I'm going to be at my office because tomorrow is, as you know, one day less. One day more. Honestly, thought I did for a second. So he said I just trodden dog poo, and I thought I had, but obviously I haven't because Nala's not naughty and pooing on the floor, are you? You're being a good girl. Come on then. Let's go up. Can you carry this up to bed for me? Carry what? No. Carry <laughs> brand. I asked Zoe to carry my braces up to bed for me. Um, right, I need to take a load of stuff up because I need to need to go and do some work in bed. I'm now all tucked up in bed, guys. I've been. It looks like I'm in a party. The TV is on. It's like flashing. I've been writing my third book for literally like the past hour. It is getting there. It is so nearly done. As you're watching this, I've only got one day left until the last deadline for the book. And then more or less everything is done. I need to, still need to like go over and check it all and everything, but it's basically done. It is so exciting. It's really, really coming together now. And I've just put on and started watching, what's this film called again? The Wolf of Wall Street. I haven't seen it in ages. I love it. I watched it at the cinema. I believe, actually, I think I watched it at the cinema of Marcia and Felix. That might have been. No, I did. I went to go and see it with some friends, 
and then they said to me, do I want to go and see it? And I was like, yeah, I loved it. Let's go watch it again. So I actually went to go and watch it with them a couple of days later. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a big old thumbs up if you did. Tomorrow, as I said, Joe's coming over. Zoe's here. Their mum's here. It's like a blooming sug takeover at the house. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Did I say give the video a thumbs up? I don't know, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe as well. This channel is nearly somehow at 3 million subscribers. I have no idea. This is like my second channel, that is crazy. I'll catch you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, your hip hit me straight in the head. <laughs> wet willy. Oh, you got wet willy, babe. <laughs>